Meanwhile, we continue to follow that tragedy on the highway that claimed the life of two young children this week. Yeah, this is really a heartbreaking story. Those children were three year old twins and police tell us their mother left them in the car and then jumped off the overpass onto train tracks below tonight. That mother remains in the hospital. NBC 6's Kim Wynn is following this story for us tonight. Kim, what have you learned now about the mother's condition? Yeah, well, like you guys mentioned, that mother is still in the hospital. We are learning that that mother is still in critical condition tonight. The father and family members left devastated by this loss. The young lives of these three-year-old twins, gone too soon. In Creole, their father, Milson Cadet, says he doesn't know why. I don't really know what, ha what, what, what happened. He still don't know what happened. All right, guys, we are on scene. Miami-Dade police say they found the brother and sister unresponsive inside this SUV on I-95 and the Florida Turnpike extension Friday morning. Detectives say the driver jumped over the wall and fell on the railroad tracks. Cadet says the driver is Charlene Alcime, his children's mother. Well, what happened to for the day, either like why my kids all pass away. Cadet says he last saw his kids, Melinji and Melinda, and their mother Wednesday at their North Miami Beach home. He says he called her that day and all day Thursday. Is it one o'clock? Is it two o'clock? Three o'clock. He still tried to call. She, she never, she's never pick up. Their older son says he also last saw his mother and siblings on Wednesday. She's a good person. She, she works. That's all I know. She's a good person. She works. That's it. A lot. Alsame owns several businesses in the area. We learned that she and her family have faced several eviction cases over the last two years. The case against her family home is settled, but one is still pending against a business location. We don't know what. But if any role that could have played in what happened Friday, the baby sick. I don't know. The baby not sick. I don't know. Friends and family hope police bring them answers. Yeah, she said he's not gonna feel like he's not gonna feel like okay now. And the father says that the kids did not have any health conditions. The cause of death for the twins has not been released. For now, we're reporting live from North Miami Beach. Kim Wynn, NBC Six News.